right, sports choir here with London Ackerman from Georgia Tech Volleyball. Last time we, I was here was a Sunday, had a 3-0 sweep of Syracuse. What did the team do well as, uh, as the Yellow Jackets' performance to earn the victory? Uh, I think overall we passed very consistently and our overall effort was consistent as well. So I think that, um, you know, playing as a team, being competitive, we went out there and we're really prepared to play them and I think that showed. What's, the team's on a five-match winning streak. What's been the turning point of the team just overall to go from, I think even one and two in conference play to go on this nice run here so, so far? Um, I think staying focused and, and back to the word consistency, I think coming in every day to practice prepared and you know ready to give it our all has really shown and, and it's paid off um, with these past five wins. A team is also first defensively and opponents hitting percentage on that part of the game. What has been some of the factors in that and the team success defensively? I think uh, we work on it a lot, one, but I think it's also a defensive mindset and I think that everyone has it right now and we're really going after it and, you know, um, it's as simple as keep the balloon off the ground. So I think, um, you know, just that extra effort and extra going after it has really, you know, paid off and we've really seen great success with it. Yeah, and it looks like the team does, is middle of the pack as far as blocks go, so it looks like you ha do have a lot of ball handling. Uh, how does it help to have a juniors and seniors in the main rotation as far as all of you being used to each other and, and court placement, things like that? Yeah, it helps a lot. I think we get used to each other's tendencies and what we're going to do, and I think although we might be in the middle of the pack, we're touching a lot of balls, so I think that goes to show for the, the hitting percentage as well as or the opponent hitting percentage as well as the dig so it all I mean we all feed off of each other so whatever they are able to take care of really helps um, me and, my job as well. Great and lastly you set the individual a career record in digs here at Georgia Tech. Discuss reaching that mark and were you aware of you being close to it and uh, just the reception you received from it? Um, I think at the beginning of the season, I did not realize that I was close to reaching it. Um, over the past couple of weeks, there's been like a lot of like media attention or whatever about it. So I, I definitely knew it was coming up. I was excited about it, but it definitely hasn't been a main goal or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, the overall success of the team is is what's more important. But if I'm able to take care of my job, they're able to do theirs, and hopefully that ends with a win. So as long as I'm able to keep pushing, keep earning different things it's only going to help everyone else so I'm proud of it and excited but yeah. And just discussion maturation just here in the program from a freshman and playing this type of position and being a senior now what's the development been what's the process been like what do you think you've improved on just over your time as a as a defensive specialist? Yeah I think it's really weird the difference in it and I think you can never really explain to anyone the way it feels going into your senior season um, it's, it's unlike any other, just because you know it's your last. Uh, but I would say, you know, I'm just more experienced. I'm used to playing the girls on the other side of the net. Um, you know, you get used to watching film. You get, you get used to all of the different scouting and, and things that we're able to do on our own as well as watching film goes um, that I didn't do my freshman year. So I think that the resources have really increased, and that's, that's really helped me you know, grow up and become a better all-around volleyball player, really. Yep, and, and this is my last thing. You have two matches on the road, Wake Forest and Duke, uh, two teams that are near you in the standings. Teams have been so well on the road in conference play so far this year. You have a few more practices. What are you working on as a unit to prepare for these contests? Um, practicing consistent. So taking care of everything that we've been doing, passing, passing and serving is the biggest thing. If we can stay consistent with that, um, we usually end up being able to figure everything else out. So keeping that mindset, staying focused, being consistent, and you know, the, the key thing that Michelle really talks about is have fun and enjoy it. And I think if we are able to do that, then we will end up on top.